Hi everyone, welcome to the Good Center tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize and design a gallery section for your website using Good Center. Let's get started. First of all, let's go to the template library and in the categories, here is a gallery section and there are two blocks as of now. You can insert any one of these boxes and you can always customize it later. For example, I'm going to insert the first one. Go to the publish and view page. This is our default gallery design. We are going to make some changes in this default gallery design. Go back to the page. Let's add the title of the page. I name it gallery. And go to setting, page attributes, templates and make a good enter full width, update it. These are the default images. Let me add some new images. Upload image, add items, after I uploaded the images, let's update the file and view the page. This is the images. To view these images, you can click in this icon. Let's play with some settings. Go to the block, block title and rename it as a gallery. If you want to select the second options, then your design looks something like this. And in this column section, you can choose the various options as per your preference. For now, I prefer to put three. And you can also enable and disable the description and the button. In the style setting, you can set the icon from here. And also you can set the icon color like so. And there are other options like image box, overlay color or anything like that. You can play with these settings. But for now, I just keep it plain. You can also enable or disable the full width image. And there are item descriptions if you want to enable it. But for the gallery, we don't need the description or if you need you can enable this option also there is a button option which we don't need most of the time in the gallery and also single box item background color if you want to play around this you can do this but for now i just turn it off go back to the advanced there's nothing but some margin and padding and animation options there we don't need to play around that setting let's update the file like so and you can also arrange the positions of the image by dragging up and down here and there like so once you're done with the settings click update and let's view the page here it is the cool looking gallery this is how you can design a gallery for your website using good Tenter. i hope you enjoyed this video for more tutorials subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next video